I used the Sierra Designs Nitro 20 down quilt for a recent 1200 kilometer bike packing trip down the length of the New Zealand North Island. 1200 kilometers is about the same as 750 miles by the way. The bigger number just better emphasizes how obviously cool I am. Unfortunately, the trip didn't quite end how and where I intended, but the quilt performed consistently well. Quilts, in my view, are a bit of a niche product, best suited for warmer and fairer weather when you expect things not to get too chilly or too windy. And that's exactly what this trip was. What I liked most about the Nitro 20 was the oversized fit and freedom of motion it allowed, its low weight at about 700 grams or 1.6 pounds, and the fact that it packs down smaller than traditional sleeping bags. Because of course it does. It's a quilt. I found it fantastic for these sort of warm weather, hot weather trips where you, you really don't need much but you do need something. So it packs down small and I like that it's a quilt so I'm free to move around quite a bit. I also really liked the little insulated hand pockets at the head end as they let you wrap the quilt around yourself without actually having to hold on to anything to keep it in place. The foot box was also a nice feature and served a similar purpose as the hand pockets in terms of holding things where you want them to stay. Come to think of it, I keep calling it a quilt, but realistically it's perhaps closer to a quilt sleeping bag hybrid. I like it. I like it a lot. The hideaway hood is a unique and potentially useful feature for people that sleep on their back. However, I tend to sleep on either my side or my stomach, so the hood wasn't something I found to be particularly helpful. Overall, if you're a fairer weather adventurer or are looking to add an additional layer to your existing sleep system and extend its comfort range, I'd say the Nitro 20 is a great option. Speaking of sleeping systems, I suggest you have a look at my other video on sleeping pads right here. Thanks for watching.